Hello dear students, in the series of infinite letters today I have come up with the infinite letter of police. So like I started with a very basic problem of infinite letter of register. So here is a very basic problem of infinite letter of police. And then I will proceed with the tougher ones also. So as you can see that this is an infinite letter of police. All the pulleys are massless. There is no friction between a string and the pulley. And all the strings are inextensible. It means everything is an ideal situation. So what is the effect of this whole thing is that the tension on a particular string will be same at all points. And what we have to find, we have to find the, uh, in fact I can ask you to find the tension at any, any string and uh, that we can find. But right now let's focus on the acceleration of the this first mass on the left side that m. So that is what we have to find. And uh, I have two methods. First method is the principle of uh, virtual work which uh, we mostly do in the uh, kinematics of the string constant. And there is a, another method and uh, by that method I will replace a uh, pulley ladder by a equivalent mass. So let us start with the first method. So uh, suppose uh, this string has a tension T and uh, the pulley is massless. So this upward tension T must be balanced by the, this tension and this tension because these two tensions are also same, uh, everywhere same. So this tension on this string, lower string will be T by 2. So T by 2 plus T by 2 is T. And similarly, uh, tension here on this string will be T by 4 and tension below will be T by 8 and so on. So subsequent, the lower uh, string will have a half tension of the upper one, just upper one. And uh, suppose... Uh, the acceleration of this mass is A1, that's what we have to find and the acceleration of this mass is A2 and A3 and A4, so on. So, let me draw the FBD of this mass. So, suppose uh, we are already, suppose this tension is T, the weight is Mg. Tension uh, uh, here is uh, T by 2 and the weight is also Mg. The tension here is uh, T by 4 and the weight is also mg. So let me write the equation of motion for the first mass. So mass times acceleration that is ma1 is equal to f net along the motion. So f net is a t minus mg. So simplifying we will get a1 is equal to t by m minus g. And similarly for the just lower one mass. So here mass time acceleration is ma2 tension is t by 2 weight is mg. So its acceleration would be uh, T by 2m minus C and similarly A3 will be uh, T by 4m minus C and so on. Now let us apply principle of virtual work for this whole system and that would mean that we are going to do summation of T dot A for the whole system. Let us start from here. So this point has a tension, this string has a tension 2T but this point has a no acceleration so T dot A is 0 here. T dot A at this point will be T into A1. T dot A at this point will be a T by 2. I am taking T common. T by 2 into A2. So A2 by 2. And at this point T by 4 into A3. So T I have taken common. So that will be A3 by 4 dash dash dash. And here on this pulley, the this acceleration is the average of these two acceleration. So here if I apply T dot A here and here both, so that will add up to 0. So on this, on these pulleys, the T dot A will be 0. So overall this is 0 and because this tension is non-zero, so obviously then whatever is inside the bracket that has to be 0. So let me remove the bracket. And now I can put the value of A1, A2, A3 and that we have just obtained. And now we can put the values of a1, a2, a3 that we have just obtained. So a1 is a t by m minus g, a2 is t by 2m minus g and there is 1 by 2 also. So that would be t by 4m minus g by 2. And then similarly next term will be uh, t by 16m minus g by 4 and dash 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 all add up to 0. So let's take t by m term common. So I will get 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 16 dash 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 
and uh, take minus g common. So I'll get 1 plus 1 by 2 plus uh, 1 by 4 dash 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 up to 0. So this is the first thing inside bracket is a infinite geometric series of common ratio 1 by 4. So their sum will be t by m is outside and that sum will be 1 minus 1 1 upon 1 minus t by 1 by 4 and this will be similarly 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 and uh, for the simplification that will be t by m into 4 by 3 and that will be 2g is 0. So from here we will get uh, t by m is equal to 3g by 2. So if I put t by m here in the first equation so that will be uh, 3g by 2 minus g so my answer will be g we got this thing so actually we can calculate the acceleration of any mass so that is the first method by the principle of virtual work and now let's go for the second method so here i have a standard output pulley no friction between pulley and the string likewise and everything is ideal so we want to find the uh, acceleration of m1 m2 the magnitude of acceleration of m1 m2 and the tension so uh, suppose the acceleration of m2 is a downward assuming m2 is heavier so obviously acceleration of m1 will be a upwards because of the string constant fbd of m2 m2g downward t upward fbd of m1 m1g downward t upward so writing the equation for m2 so what will be the equation of m2 that would be m2g minus t is equal to uh, m2a and similarly equation for the m1 would be t minus m1g is equal to m1a and adding these equations we will get uh, m2 minus m1g is equal to m1 plus m2a so uh, a is equal to m2 minus m1 c divide by m1 plus m2 and put the value of a in either the above two equation so you will get t is equal to twice m1 m2 g divide by m1 plus m2 uh, we just calculated as t is equal to 2 m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2 so tension at the rod holding the pulley mass system is 2t and that will be 4 m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2. So what we want to do, we want to replace this whole pulley string and the m1 m2 mass system by a single mass like this. this. And if this is the replacement, this m0 g is the replacement of uh, this pulley string and the two masses, then it should provide the same tension on this rod as this system the pulley string and the masses were providing so from the fbd uh, this is m naught g and that is 2t and they are in equilibrium so it means uh, 2t is equal to m naught g and 2t is equal to 4 m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2 and this is m naught g g and g get cancelled and uh, some simplification 4 m1 m2 is equal to m0 m1 plus m2 divide both sides by m0 m1 m2 this m0 m0 get cancelled m1 m2 get cancelled so from here we will get 4 by m0 is equal to 1 by m1 plus m2 so the replacement of the pulley m1 m2 and the yellow color string is a mass m0 and whose value is given by this thing and that i can summarize here so the replacement for this whole thing is a one single mass m0 such that 4 by m0 is 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 now let's go for the infinite original ladder of pulleys so there's so a suppose I want to replace this whole infinite ladder from here this whole ladder by one single mass m0 and if, if I look from here so I don't find any difference between looking from here and looking from here because the same term is getting repeated till infinity 
so if i uh, replace this with also a single mass so that will also be equal to m not like this so this whole replacement m not like this from here this is below this the total mass m not and is equal to is equal to this pulley this pulley on one side there is a m and on another side that is m not because this whole thing i am again replacing with m not like this so then the formula that we had just uh, arrived so what i can write that i can write that uh, 4 by this this replacement of these two is m not so the 4 by m not is equal to 1 by mass on one side plus 1 over mass on the other side so uh, that would be a uh, 3 by m not is equal to 1 by m so it means m not is thrice of m now coming to the this whole ladder this whole ladder let's look this whole ladder together so uh, if i look this whole ladder together there's a fixed support there's a rod there is this mass m and on this side whatever mass is there i have named that m naught and m naught i have got 3m like this so that is this whole system so this m naught that i uh, just got this m naught is 3m so uh, this will uh, we had to find the acceleration of this so if this acceleration is a1 so this acceleration is a1 and this acceleration is also a1 but i have a direct formula now this a1 is equal to uh, difference of the masses on the both side that is a 3m minus m into g and divide by the total masses that is a m plus 3m so how much we'll get we'll get 2g by uh, 2g by 4 so we will get acceleration to be 2g by 4 so that is a g by 2 and that's what we got from the uh, principle of virtual work and we got by the replacing a pulley by a single mass thank you